is the big stuff machine. Brad Personet, the U.S. Nationals winner, the speed record holder. He's been running low ETs, big numbers for speed here once again. Getting set to take on Jay Payne. Here's a guy that's won in every class he's ever raced in, beat Alcohol Dragster, Alcohol Funny Car. He won during the exhibition area here, but really has gone over this year. That's kind of a surprise. Yeah, but it is a surprise, but I don't think Brad Personet's going to take Jay Payne lightly, and he can't because Jay went 594 in the previous round. Brad did run that 588, 254 miles per hour. That is low ET and top speed of the meet. But remember, Brad's car is very, very soft off the starting line. Jay knows his wife Shelly knows that also. Jay's going to try to get that advantage off of the starting line and try to hold off that big top end charge out of that turbocharged Camaro. Melanie's waiting. Will it be Brad or will it be Jay at the final race of the year? Nobody in any real big hurry here. Little staging duel here. Rick Stewart, Stewart counting, counting it. down. Yep. Come on, guys. We got shows to go to. Brad's a big boy. Jay's a big boy. Staging duel now hitting 30 seconds. Rick's saying, boys, let's go. Might want to go down there, Mike, and tell him it's only a 30-minute program. <laughs> ah, Rick Stewart's backing them out. Ah, I'm going to set a little example here for him. Rick Stewart has the right to do that. Hits his starting line area. The only rule that really states is after the first driver stages, then the other driver has seven seconds to pull in or it's an automatic disqualification. Let's try him again here. Take number two. See any shows since he's been in town? Right? We do a couple. Saw Kyle. It was great. Wasn't quite as long as this show, though. <laughs> All right, Jay Payne is pre-staged. Brad Personet, you can hear that turbo car popping right away. There's he's going to bring it in yeah. first. Here we go. Jay gets the advantage. But can he hold off the turbo? No. No, and that's even with a shoot coming out early. Wow. Person at 591 speed, way down 236. Those shoots were out just past the 1,000 foot. Got to ask you, Mike, what happened to Jay's car? I don't know. Something happened to look like to both cars because both of them were down on speed. Take a look at Jay. Carries the front end through there, gets a little bit of tire shake, top of low gear, pulls it in a second, and then right before the finish line, uh, see if we can tell if something broke or butterflies go shut, nose drops down. I don't know what happened on there, but Brad, shortly after that, he had problems also. He was only 236 miles per hour at the finish line. Jay Payne slowed only 128 miles per hour. The result, and result is Brad Personet goes to another final. He was a runner-up to Jay Payne here a year ago. It was still exhibition then, but now it's for real.